When you think about Lyme disease, you probably think of this, a tick. Or maybe more specifically, a tick bite. But what exactly is it about a tick bite that makes us sick? This is Borrelia burgdorferi, one of many bacteria that ticks can pass on to humans and the one responsible for Lyme disease. It causes an array of symptoms, which can be anything from fatigue, arthritis, facial palsy, and occasionally a bullseye rash, erythema migrans if you want to get technical. We've only known about the pathogen since the early 1980s, but it's been around for much longer than that, potentially for thousands of years longer. Traces of its effects were even found in Utzi the Iceman, the 5,300-year-old hunter found mummified in the Italian Alps. But while we're not exactly sure where and when Borrelia originated, we do know a lot about how the disease works and how it spread. I should take my glasses off. My name is Raphael Stricker. I'm a medical doctor. Uh, I practice in San Francisco. I have over 4,000 Lyme disease patients in my practice, and I've written more than 200 papers about Lyme disease. Ticks have been called sewers of infection. Anything that they feed on, they can pick up and transmit to you. These sewers of infection need blood to survive. Sometimes that's bird blood. Sometimes it's reptile blood, but a lot of the time it's mammal blood, like mice and deer. If a tick feeds on one of those animals and they are infected with the bacteria, the tick will carry it and then spread it to other animals, who then spread it to other ticks, and so on. Occasionally, those ticks spread the disease to us, and they do that by passing the pathogen through the tick saliva, which some people call a pretty fascinating substance. Tick saliva is really a pretty fascinating substance. Uh, it has several, several components. Uh, one is uh, it has an anesthetic that numbs the bite site so that the person doesn't know that he or she is being uh, infected. Uh, it also has an anticoagulant that keeps the blood from clotting so that the tick can feed continuously at that site. And then it also has this immunosuppressive substance that suppresses the immune response uh, at the bite site so that the host can't fight off the infection. It's been shown that a tick bite can inject about 70,000 Lyme bacteria. So you're getting a pretty hefty dose of this uh, spirochete, it's called the spirochete, uh, with a tick bite. So, what does Borrelia burgdorferi actually do to your body? Technically, nothing. The bacteria itself doesn't harm your cells, but your body knows the pathogen shouldn't be there, so it launches an all-out assault. Your immune system will first try to fight off disease by targeting proteins on the bacteria's cell walls, but the spirochete can just change which proteins it expresses and evade detection. So, so much for that idea. Then, as the pathogen moves through your bloodstream to other parts of your body, your immune system continues to fight it by producing cytokines, which work to regulate your immune system and produce inflammation. This inflammation then occurs in the areas the bacteria travels to, which, depending on the strain of Borrelia, can occur in the joints, muscles, heart, and even the brain. But due to the bacteria's ability to evade detection, this inflammation does nothing to destroy it and everything to make you feel sick. So that's what really causes the symptoms. It's not the bacteria per se, it's the body's response to the bacteria that causes a lot of these symptoms. Basically, Borrelia burgdorferi isn't doing much of anything other than trying to survive in its host. Well, my, my medical school teacher told me not to anthropomorphize, you know, uh, uh, bacteria. Basically, I mean, the goal is to survive. The goal of any bacteria or any organism is to survive. So, and, and Borrelia has evolved a way to do that that's, that's very efficient. Of course, we're doing whatever we can to make sure the disease can't survive. Currently, Lyme disease is treated with antibiotics. And while a vaccine was created around 16 years ago, it's no longer being produced due to low usage and potential side effects. But there is interest in developing a new vaccine in two different ways. One idea is to target the proteins expressed by the Borrelia itself, which fights Lyme disease, while the other idea would involve fighting the compounds in tick saliva, which would fight Lyme as well as a number of tick-borne diseases. Because ticks are, after all, sewers of infection. So if ticks, mice, deer, and any other number of animals can be infected with Borrelia burgdorferi, why don't they also get Lyme disease? Deer have a kind of protein in their blood that kills the Lyme bacteria. And the question always comes up, well, why don't, why can't we put that into humans? And the answer is because humans aren't deer. So there you go, humans aren't deer.